If you know me, then you know that I fuck with Current heavily. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar, Current is Minimal Audio's new synthesizer. It's been around about a year, and I think it's probably one of the most underplayed synths that I've ever used. In user friendliness, the quality of the sounds, for bass music, it's absolutely insane, and it's, it's probably my favorite synth right now. They just dropped Current 2.0, which is basically the next version of Current or like an updated version. And there's some insane features they've added to it, which I absolutely love. We're going to cover them today. Some things that are super good about it and some things that I could probably live without. Now, before we get in a couple quick announcements for you guys, one, uh, I just dropped a complete comprehensive bass music masterclass. The link's in the description. Uh, it's basically 77 modules, so it's like 17 hours of content from everything I've learned from the top music production schools in the nation on how to produce original bass music if you're brand new or you're intermediate and you can't get your stuff to sound professional. Super affordable and for a limited time, you can actually get half off Ableton Live and most of your favorite plugins. So that's in the description. Also, I have a free monthly care package system that I just started. Every month I show you guys free samples, free presets, bunch of stuff totally free and there's a free Ableton course on there. So there's a couple resources for you guys. Let's get into the video. So the first thing you'll notice on the new current 2.0 setup is this display. This is basically like a movable X, Y axis display for your macros. Super cool. They toss in some cool graphics here. We see stuff like this a lot. There's some Arturia plugins that have it. There's some output plugins that have this kind of X, Y axis deal. I really like this because it's good for just kind of playing around and getting a lot of movement in your sound. And if you're not necessarily like super good at tweaking macros or, or automation, you can just come in here and play around and get some pretty cool sounds. So you'll notice that these are mapped to the four macros. So we have on this particular preset, speed, dryness, dephase, and noise swell. And so if we go to our engine, whatever these four macros are, first two are gonna be on the first control here. So speed and dryness. And then the second two are gonna be on this. And so we can kind of have a nice combination of using this X, Y axis to add some movement. Super cool, I love that they did this. It looks cool, it sounds good. Hyped on this. The next cool little thing they added here, uh, this is gonna be probably familiar to you Serum users, but they have a modulation matrix. So if we click on this matrix here, we can now see all of our different automations in one spot and we can adjust them from here. Uh, like I was saying, it's similar to how Serum has, you know, you can see all your modulations on the interface, but now you can actually come in here and adjust them and see them all together and, and what the amounts are and everything. So that's a cool little addition they added. Coming to the effects. So there's a bunch of super tight stuff they did in the effects here. One being wave shifter. So this is a totally new effect. Is It's a combination of frequency shifting and ring FM. So some totally wild sounds, especially for us bass music producers. My favorite thing to do is to shift frequencies and do this kind of stuff, FMing and ring modulation. So this unit is fire for all that stuff. I played with it a little bit and definitely a good addition. I like it. So the next super cool thing they did is introduce multi-band distortion. So multi-band distortion is amazing. Roar has it. Plugins like Trash 2 have it, Trash 3 have it. Reason why it's cool is because you can really preserve your, your sub bass and really like add some razzle and some body and some grit to the rest of it. Now we have that built in right here. So aside from the awesome distortion power that we already had with current, now we can actually come in here and multi-band it. So if we come over to our polar distortion and we just click this little button right here and we click on, now we have multi-band. So we can move these around. <laughs> And we can really do some crazy stuff with with the the distortion on the on the mids and the highs groups and the lows. So super cool addition as well. Pretty much everything they added, I'm I'm like pretty hyped on. And then last but not least, they gave us a bunch of new presets. So a lot of these you may have not seen before. That's because they are now added with the updated uh, 2.0 version. So if we go to something like Stream, and this is cool because Current is like I was saying, probably my favorite synth but there's really been a lack of like presets for it. Whereas something like Serum or, or uh, Vital, 
there's a billions out there's billions out there you can go and you can download them they come with them but you know current's new so there hasn't really been like a ton of sound designers creating crazy stuff for them but now you can see that they're actually if we get out a user here there's quite a bit of new stuff going on here so really cool like the thing i love about current is that the sounds are all insane they're super high quality because you know you have the the granular synth so you have some real-time samples in here yeah like this is new a, a tr808 pack like that's insane that's cool but yeah you have you know you have the granular synth stacked with the wavetables and all this modulation like it's it's phenomenal so that's a basic rundown of what's new with current 2.0 i'm sure there's some hidden stuff in there that i haven't touched on that i haven't seen anyone talk about um, let me know what you guys want to see next and what you're doing with current uh thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time awesome.